just uh, seven if you don't mind looking right here. We could have an affair. Millions of people do, but an affair is a fairly pedestrian thing. And the story always ends the same. Does it? What we have between us is so much more than that. It's more than a simple affair. We have the work. That was a, a trip, man. That was awesome. I had never done it before. I had never been. And it's an experience. It's the attention to detail, like the, the scope of the spectacle. It was really cool. I'm glad I went. And of course you look lovely in Donna Karen. Thanks. Were you scoping out any of those other dresses? Did anyone wow yeah. you that you passed and got to see in person? We only uh, yeah, I, I didn't see that Rihanna dress. I just saw the pictures of it, but that was crazy. I'm glad I didn't arrive any time before or after that. Uh, yeah, well, they're, they're now, you know, the book is being published at the beginning of the, the show, so they're now public figures, they're public property, and the work is not happening in back rooms and being controversially secret now. It's going out into the, the harsh glare of, of the public daylight, so we'll see what people make of it now and the kind of pressures that puts on them, on their relationship, and, and just them as public figures. Bill's not the most secure when it comes to thinking that people will like him, um, and yet he really wants validation for the work, so it's an interesting place for him to be. You don't approve of my behavior because you're afraid it means I'll turn into my father. Well, pressure's off, mother. Your fears are realized. I... I am my father. You know it. And now my son knows it too. <laughs> and on the left for Instagram, please. Yeah, you know each other, yeah, trust each other. Really and it means that you can really take risks. Yeah, you know, you can really go much deeper with what you practice. Yeah. It's fantastic. Which is great. Well, if you're a fan of our show, you know that our writers don't uh, don't let anybody get off easy ever. They like to really pile on the terrible shit stuff. So, uh, yeah, Virginia, uh, we're, I'm finishing up episode two I guess tomorrow but we're already starting episode three and there has been a lot a lot of tears and yelling and sad 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 stuff so just anticipate more uh, gut-wrenching drama and season three picks up mid 60s they yeah. jump around years you know season three yeah they, they uh, I haven't seen the script yet. I actually, like, I don't know where we're going, but I'm so excited. I know historically there's a few key players that, that we're about to come in contact. One is Hugh Hefner, um, which was really important to um, the history of Masters and Johnson. So, you know, we've got some exciting, exciting players coming our way. I think I had kind of just given up on being that happy at a, at a drama again. And then um, I remember when Michelle said, we want to, um, she said, we want to um, write a story for you. We want to keep you on. And I just started crying because I felt so at home here right away. And it, it just was it, 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 just an actor's dream. It's just an actor's dream. And coming off of such a... I mean, I do. I feel greedy. I feel greedy, yes. <laughs> But would I say, would I not do it because I feel greedy? Uh, no, absolutely not. I, 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 I mean, I really thought, like, if you get one show like that in your life, that's a fantastic career. And then, you know, I went from that to this, which is phenomenal. It does make it hard for me to ever look at any other dramas. I'm like, come on. You know I've been on Breaking Bad, Masters of Sex and Parenthood, like, this last couple of years. Like, come on. Like, I'm pretty picky. Ever since the presentation, I'm propositioned a dozen times a day. I get notes on my windshield. Just today, somebody left a dildo, a dildo, on my desk. One of the girls in the bullpen, no doubt. Jesus, women are so vicious. The financial repercussions are even worse. DePaul's salary 
doesn't even cover essentials. Forget about extras. And I have no chance of getting a raise here because apparently I now wear the scarlet letter.